Hello and welcome back to the Rope Access and Climbing Podcast, YouTube edition. I am your host, Mikey Stevenson, and today I am going to be talking about an interesting topic about pulleys. If this is your first time here, please make sure to subscribe and follow us wherever you get your podcasts. So stay tuned. Step into your harness and get ready for a podcast about the vertical world. All right, well, today I am going to be diving into the topic of pulleys. It's going to be a pretty quick brush over um, about a specific type of pulley. But first, thank you to each and every one of you that entered our draw uh, a couple weeks back there, um, giving away one of these shirts, a hat, and some rope protectors. All right, so today I am diving into the conversation about double pulleys. All right, so something like this, um, they come in all shapes and sizes, different brands, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, but I'm going to be specifically talking about this one um, as it's pretty basic. So now, what I've noticed as a rope access instructor here in Canada is there's not a lot of double pulleys being utilized in the field. So when they come into the training center, they kind of look at a double pulley and it's new and shiny and they're like, well, how do I use this? Now, it is a pulley, so there's pretty limited amounts of ways to kind of utilize it where you have to worry about the, uh, the device itself. But there are still a couple things that we need to point out. Now, one of the biggest questions that I receive as an instructor is, is this pulley one point or two points? Now, um, let's, let's take a look at this. Is this one device or two devices? Okay, it is an independent device. Also keep in mind that there is only one pin going through the entire structure. So you're relying on one rivet um, or one uh, compression fitting here. Sometimes it may be a nut and a bolt. Uh, like I said, it really depends on the manufacturing. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, we are simply relying on one pin here. So if any one single item of this device fails, the entire thing fails. So the question I have to give to you is, is it one point or is it two points? And the answer is, it is one point. Now, I did post this on uh, social media um, and it was quite interesting. You know, I got like a 60-40 split of, uh, you know, one point or two points. But, uh, you know, what that just goes to show is, you know, that there's not a lot of people utilizing it and, and breaking it down and understanding um, its limitations. Now, its limitations, I want to talk that, about that as this is rated for 36 kilonewtons, this specific one. Is that strong enough? Well, yeah, absolutely it is. There's no questions about its integrity. But uh, when it goes to, you know, big industry rope access... Um, it's all about the redundancy and needing um, it to be doubled up. Um, that is the methodology of, of rope access. Now, you know, there are other industries, you know, the fire industry in some cases um, may accept this as two points as there are the ability to put two ropes into it. Um, and then you have small industry. So, you know, technical rescue, um, and you know, mountain rescue, that's a complete different, uh, ball of wax there. So we can't put every industry under the same umbrella. We have to understand that for the industry specifically, you have to know its limitations and the codes that, um, you must follow. Like I said, for rope access, a double pulley such as this one, um, is only one point. Now, <clears throat> where else can you use this and where does it not really matter? Well, um, if you're using a double pulley for hauling and lowering, 
Um, okay, realistically, it is not a load bearing item. So it doesn't matter if you put one rope through it or two ropes through it. Now, obviously adhere to the manufacturer specification. If the manufacturer doesn't allow you to just run this with only one rope through it, then don't. But um, for the most part, it is not a load bearing part uh, within a hull system. I wouldn't worry about it. But like I said, make sure to follow the manufacturer specifications. Obviously, at the end of the day, um, you need some sort of uh, document to support what you're doing. If that's from the manufacturer or if that's from a company uh, policy or procedure, you know, you're going to have to follow those rules. All right. So that's all I have for today. Thank you very much for tuning into today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that this uh, shine some light a little bit on the conversation. Like I said, this is just a kind of a quick dive into a specific uh, item of equipment. Um, let me know in the comments below what you think about a pulley being one point or two points. Um, let me know where you use it and what kind of industry you are working in. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, follow us wherever you get your podcasts, and I'll see you on the next one.